Okay, so I started by just cutting out a rectangle-ish shape closer to a square. And then I just roll this side approximately halfway. I've never gotten halfway all the way right, so don't feel bad if you don't get halfway right. And usually I'll just use a phone or something heavy to hold it while I roll the other side. I want the rolls to be about the same size, so if they're not, then I can just figure out which one is smaller and unroll and re-roll until they're about the same size. And I also want them to be kind of tight. Okay. So once there's two rolls, I want to twist and put it like this so that you have two rolling sides on top of each other. And then I'm gonna roll these sides out all the way up and I'm rolling the top out. Hi, Pop Pop. You wanna come over to my house for a while and sit in the hot tub? Oh my goodness. And I'm trying to straighten them out, but no? it's not working very well. So he'll probably just have crooked legs, which is fine. And then I take a rubber band and you can put it wherever you want, depending on how big you want his head to be. I usually want his head to be pretty big and his arms to be pretty short. So I'm putting it pretty far down. And here you should look like this. And if you want to, you can try to push the arms back further or pull them down so they can be a little longer. And just adjust it a little bit. And now, we want two of these little plastic hair ties, the little clear ones. It's like that, nine out of ten days of the year. I'm going to pinch a little bit of this roll and just wrap this around it twice to make an ear. And then I can do the same with this side. You can wrap it around more or less times to make it the size you want. And now it should look something like this. And then you can do one more thing. This is optional. If you don't want to add ribbon, you don't have to. But I'll cut off a pretty lengthy piece of ribbon usually because you don't know how good you are at tying small amounts of string. And you can always cut off more later. And I will put it behind him and Oh goodness. I am done with class. For the I'm tying a little knot right in the middle. <laughs> and I always put the bow on the side, but you can have it wherever you want. I'm going to adjust it so it's just over his arm before I tie the bow. And also even out the sides because I'm a perfectionist. There. That's closer. And then I'm done. And this is a really big bow, so I'm going to make it a little smaller just by pulling the ends in and then tightening it. And then I'm just gonna take my piece of scissors and trim it a little so that the ends aren't super long either. And here's my bear. Yay!